Question number 6. There are two geometric progression, A and B. The first term of A is 8 and the first term of B is 4. So we got two sequence here. One is sequence 1, eh, sequence A, sequence B. So the first sequence, the first number in sequence A, let's say I put A1, uh, A1 is 8 and then the first number in sequence B, I put as A2, that will be 4. Okay. Both progressions have the same sum of infinity. So that means the sum of infinity for the first progression is the same as sum of infinity of the second progression. Okay. The sum of the third term of A and B is 9 over 4. So that means so that means when you take um, the sum of the sum of third and third term of A and B. So that means the third term of A plus the third term of B should be equals to 9 over 4. You know what? I'm just going to use A and B la, so that we don't get confused. So this one I'll change in sum of infinity A and B. So this one is the same thing. Huh? A, 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 B. Okay. Okay, now what else do we have? The tenth term of A is negative. So that means the T10 for sequence A, negative means less than zero. Lah. Okay, so these are all the information we have. A student states that the sum of the first four terms of A is larger than sum of first four terms of B. Is the statement correct? So we want to prove that the sum of first four terms of A, whether or not it is larger than the sum of first four terms of B. Okay, so we want to find out if this is valid or not. Okay, so before we can find this out, before we can use the equation of uh, sum, the sum of terms uh, equation, we have to first find out what's the A and the R. Okay, but A we already have. Okay, we already have the A here. So we need to find the R. So we got two different R. We got R for sequence A and R for sequence B. So first thing we have to do is most likely going to be simultaneous to find the R A and R B. Okay, so we start with the first one. Sum of infinity A equals sum of infinity B. Okay, we use the first equation. Huh? So formula is A over 1 minus R. So the A for sequence A is 8. So it's 8 over 1 minus Ra. Okay, we don't know what is the common ratio. Okay, we don't know what's the R for both sequence. So this one will be 4 over 1 minus Rb. Okay, so what I can do is I can take the whole equation here, divide by 2 so that I can simplify this. So there by 2 I get 1. Eh, sorry, there by 4. There by 4 I get 1, divided by 4 I get 2. Then I can cross multiply. Okay, so what I will get is 2 minus 2RB equals to 1 minus RA. So I can make RA as a subject. So RA equals to 2RB. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So we got the first equation here. Okay, because later we want to substitute in the second one. So next, we want to use this one. Okay, so I'm going to write here. So, the third term of, okay, this is geometric, right? So, A, formula is A R power negative 1, right? So, the A is 8, and then R, we don't know, R A. Uh, then, this one is third term, right? So, 3 minus 1 is 2. Plus, 4 R B, and then also 2 is equals to 9 over 4. So what I can do is I can substitute this because I got RA. I can substitute into the RA equation. So I get 8 RA is 2 RB minus 1 square plus 4 RB square equals 9 over 4. So let me expand this first. I get 4 RB square minus 4 RB plus 1 plus 4RB 
square equals 9 over 4. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to expand this. But I'm not just going to do that. I'm also going to take the whole equation here times 4. Why am I going to times 4? So that the, the fraction here, there's no more 4. Okay, Because I don't want a fraction there. So what I will get is, when I expand 8 and also times 4, I'm going to straight away write here, the answer it will be 1, 2, 8, RB square minus 1, 2, 8, RB plus 32 plus 16RB square equals to 9. Okay, so this is when I expand and also times 4. Huh? And then I can simplify this. I've got 2RB square here. So when I simplify, I mean when I combine them, I get 144. RB square minus 128RB plus 32 equals to 9. So you can divide to simplify the equation but I'm just going to straight away factorize and use the calculator to factorize I will get 36 RB minus 23 and then 4 RB minus 1 okay so from here I can find my RB so RB equals to 23 over 36 and also the second possibility will be 1 over 4 so now that I have both RB I can find RA because I have the equation here. So I just have to substitute these two into the RB here and I can find my RA. So from my substitution, I will get my RA equals to, so I got two answers. The first one is 5 over 18. The second one is negative 1 over 2. Okay, you just have to substitute into here. Okay, and then you get these two answers. Now with these two answers, I'm... I have to reject one. Why? Okay, the one I'm going to reject is the RA, this. I have to reject this. Why I have to reject? Because one of the condition here is what? The 10 term is less than 0. It's a negative value. Okay, they mention in the question the 10 term of the first sequence, 10 term of the sequence A is negative. So I cannot use this because this common ratio is only making the sequence smaller but it will not turn into negative because there is no negative there so only this will make it have a negative on the 10th term okay because there's a negative okay so that's why this is the i uh, have to take this two lah as my ra and rb okay so i have to reject this one okay i'm not going to take that so now what do we do they want us to prove that the sum of the four, four terms for A is more than the sum of four terms of B. So, in other words, we have to calculate the sum of the term, first four terms. So, sum of 4N, oh sorry, why 4N? 4A, you want the first term, right? So, the formula is A1 minus R power N divided by 1 minus R. Okay, this is the formula. So I'm just going to substitute in. So the first, this one is 8, right? 8 times 1 minus RA. RA is negative 1 over 2 power 4 because we want the four, fourth term divided by 1 minus negative 1 over 2. Okay. So just type in your calculator, you will get um, 5. Okay. Then we're going to do for the fourth term, four terms for B. Okay, the sum of four first four terms of B. So this one will be 4, 1 minus, this one is 1 over 4. So minus 1 over 4, power 4, divide by 1 minus 1 over 4. Okay, so you will get your answer 5.3125. So from here, from these two, we can see that the Second, the second sequence is larger, right? What's the question saying? Question is saying that the first sequence is larger. The first sequence is larger, so it's wrong, lah. So it's not, it's not right. The statement is wrong, okay? Because from here we can see that as the first four terms of A 
is smaller than the first uh, four terms of B. Right? So therefore, the statement is incorrect. Okay? Because they wanted as the they wanted it to be bigger, to be larger. But what we have found is it is smaller.